Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I change my voice. I'm using a set of three plugins to achieve voice results. This is my commercial voice. I am tuning back to this is my real voice. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a set of three plugins to change voice real time. This is a low latency recording. I just assume you to do the least amount of post editing words. Just trim it instead of like doing color correction, chroma key, that kind of things. So I change my voice back to my commercial voice. For the rest of the video, you learn how to do it. First of all, download a software called Voice Meter Banana. And I suggest you to download it from their website. So you just go down. Yeah, it's here. Install Voice Meter Banana. After you've downloaded it, go to your system. Just like click the voice driver here. And then you click playback device. Set voice meter input to the input device. Move on to the recording tab. Set voice meter output to the recording device. When everything is done, you will see this interface. Let me turn off everything. Turn off my voice. I turn this off. I close my zoom. And then you will hear nothing. Okay, just for a bit of silence. Okay, basically what I did was just crashing out my voice meter banana. And the first thing to set is the hardware, which is the speaker. Do not set your hardware out to be your mic device. From my experience, it's going to confuse you a lot. So you don't really know where the voice come in. From my experience, I set it to my computer's speaker, something like that. That's the hardware out. And you can set like two more hardware. If you have a TV, you have another playing sound playing device, you can set them all out. Okay. And the second step is to, let me see, is to go to one of the hardware input and set up your mic. One of the tips here is WDM it has lower latency. That means when your sound plays, it syncs up better with your video. If you choose MME, it has more latency so that it doesn't sync that well. So I just try to say it in layman terms. Hopefully new users know what I mean. After you set up your voice meter, you can hear the background noise like this. Or if you can tweak it from your input device. But usually, if you don't have good mic, a good preamp, you will hear like this. A lot of hiss. I just stop talking and I'll let you hear the, the background noise. That's a gray area. Even if I don't speak, you can still hear the background noise. That's why we need to install another new thing. We move on to download our next up which is this one pedal board 2 this one pedal board 2 and basically you just go to browser pedal board 2 enter and then you hit the first one pedal board 2 and then what you see is something like this you just hit download and then unzip the files and you can get to the pedal board 2 like this folder so I'm not sure if we know when I click test. Oh, I see. <laughs> I know why. Because I have to use this one, the voice meter insert virtual ASIO. That means the ASIO driver of this voice meter. This is very important because let me do this. When I click the system, do this insert 
That means when I click the patch insert, I'm telling the system to use whatever input from the ASIO driver, which is this one. Voice meter insert ASIO. So let's say click test. If I hear the beep sound, I mean doot, the doot sound, the pedal board to works. Okay, and let me try by unclicking this one and I speak. And if you can hear nothing, that means the pedal board too works. Okay, so pedal board too works. Let me download some free VSD plugins so that we can play around with how to improve your voice. Okay, let's just go. Very handy one is. Reaper, R E A P E R. Yeah, it's this one. You see the green one, the rear plugs. Okay, rear plugs. So maybe you can just go to this website directly. Now just get the 64 bit. Also, what I'm going to download is package of these Reaper plugins the rear com, the compressor, and the X com, the extra compressor. Delay is like the reverb, it's like reverb. Something like that. <laughs> and the EQ is like, oop, it's changed your voice a little bit. And the reverb, which is my favorite one, is to cut down the noise because you can hear the noise all the time. And the rear gate is also cutting down background noise. Okay, so I'm going to download this. I'm going to download a 64 bit version. It's here. And let me go show in folder. It's like Control X. Okay, and then go out. Maybe I switch to my voice meter back. It's better because I'm not sure if I will cut the noise. I mean, I will cut the voice out. So I click. I just close pedal bar two first. Okay, safe. Okay, it's okay. Usually, I will create a work. Just create work. Maybe work in progress. Video. I mean, with W I P. I just save it inside and it's a 64 bit test voice 64 bit so what I'm going to do is I just save a voice profile because let's say if you tweak your voice here then and you can use it next time okay there's a voice profile I think you're hearing you're hearing my voice right let me close the screen casting just to see if you can still hear my voice in voice meter banana we are now back i'm pretty sure you can hear my voice from my voice meter banana okay, Control v yeah it's here so i install it just double click to install to directory okay run so you might have to wait for a while okay i agree let me see if I'm going to ring. I see. Okay, just install everything. Okay, just install to Steinberg. No, maybe I install it to. I will create a new folder on my desktop. It's VST plugins. So basically, I save all the download VST plugins here. So change the destination folder to VST plugins. Let me do it like this. I just add a 64 bit folder inside because some plugins are only in 32 bits. That's why I do it like this because I separate them in 32 bit and 64 bit. Remember in Parabot 2, 64 bit DSD plugins only work in 64 bit execution mode and 32 bit for 32 bit execution mode also. Okay, so let's say I save it to the 64 bit folder and I press install. See if it's complete. It's not. Okay, okay. Just click it. Okay, installed. Right now, let me open Paddleboard 2. And remember, I use the 64 bit, right? So I, I double click the Paddleboard 2 64 bit execution file. Click. Hold on. Okay, so that's how I load up the profile. Otherwise, you can't hear anything. Just like a while ago, it was that silence. 
Okay, and let me add plugins here. Maybe I just repeat again. The whole setup process is you click. Let's say if you are in voice meter, you have to go to system and then you go here patch insert. Let's say if you are using the hardware input one, you just click here and make it green. And since I use the first two channels, so I click these two. If I click one, then you can only hear one of the channel, right? If I click this, you, it basically shuts down that channel. So if you have like two mics, three mic. I mean, if your mic is in hardware input two, then you click this one, and then you select of your mic here. I tried it before that. I you can only use one mic. I don't know why, but <laughs> somehow it's like this. Okay, that's why the Zoom H6 is pretty good for that because it has six input channels so that you can do the input there instead of doing it on the software level. Anyhow, after the voice meter banana setup, you go here, audio setting, and then by default it's Windows audio, but you go for audio driver for device. You have to click the voice meter insert virtual audio, not the other stuff. I don't know why, but somehow it works with the voice meter. And then you set a sample rate buffer. And so far, because I set the buffer for 512 here, you see only one choice. Because if I go back to voice meter banana, it's like this: the buffer audio, because I set it to default. Otherwise, if you set it to like. 320 something like that then you have lower buffer just go back and I set it to I set it to 48 so usually I get better voice for 48k um, sampling rate one reason why you want a lower buffer rate is for video syncing if you know what latency is yeah when you speak your video is loading slower than your voice or faster than your voice it just doesn't sync up that's the latency problem and we don't want that so we can set it to lower buffer but it's okay because I'm not showing my face right now so I just click the default and after the audio settings, click test. The PedalBot 2 works. Then you click plugin. It has some basic plugins already, but we are going to use the rear plug. So we click options. Usually I clear list, but this time it's okay. I don't clear any list. Scan for new or updated VST plugins. And that's very important because we are going to look for the folder that keeps all our plugins. So that's the program files VST plugins. So basically I'll add change and then I'll go to desktop. Yeah, that's a desktop. On our desktop, click VST plugin. Click OK. So I have all the plugin. This is the plugin VST plugins on top of the folder and it will install from both folders that's why I create a new folder on desktop because it's handy and it helps me to distinguish plugins from the program VSD plugins or the plugins that I download because you get mixed up by this anyhow I click scan and it starts scanning and you'll see more plugins because I have plugins from my other Windows account so that's why you see more otherwise you will only see the rear plugins they are all three I just go to a white space and left click it you can just ignore this folder because I just got it somehow <laughs> from my other account so from your new download you probably won't see this I'm just giving you one of the example of how I edit out my voice so it's just click refer you can change the name I can call it uh, first gate so it's a noise gate so usually I just unclick one because I just want to make sure you still hear my voice when I am giving okay so otherwise click this okay so just first gate you can change your voice by EQ like this like Okay, that's the EQ, but what I'm going to do is You can use compressor because I just changed the gate and you can hear nothing And that's the gate
Okay, let's say if you want to That's the gate, right? One of the gate, but usually Okay, when I set to compressor and compressor is like this. Oh, sorry. I didn't add the ratio. Let's say change it to three Let's say this is the compressor. You can hear the change, right? I'm not going to go deep to explain different stuff here. I'm just showing you how I do this. Usually I click subtract. Okay, you can hear the improvement because I'm blocking um, the background noise by using the profile. I do this again. So I let the noise play and then untick this one. I can get better voice without the background hiss. But it's not enough usually. So I'll add another plugin, which is the rear gate. Yeah, you can still hear the hum, right? The background noise is gate 2. And usually I'll set it to negative 20 because the gate is like this. The higher I move up, the more voice that is being cut. So if I add to really high, let's say it's here, then you can hear nothing. <laughs> okay, normally human ears cannot hear any voice below negative 20 to negative 30. So if you set it to negative 20, it's probably pretty good. Okay, and then you can tweak the setting. Usually I won't change the setting. And I set a high pass to 80. My voice is getting clearer because I cut down the low frequency. Let's say if I want to change my voice. I get better voice quality and then I go to rear EQ and just call it EQ. It's totally up to you, you can choose not to change the name. So let's change it. When you speak, you can see the waveform and usually what I do is, let's say it's a basic editing. I click here. And you can move the frequency. Let's say if I want really high, like this one, I will make my voice really stand out. Sounds like it's pretty good, but uh, <laughs> it's too exaggerated. I just exaggerate it. Okay, but I change it. Let's reset it to default. Usually I will cut down the low end. as this one. I just go to, go to one and then the type. Oh, I have to enable this one. Okay, yeah. And it's high pass filter. When I add a high pass filter, I cut down all the low voice. It becomes pretty thin. Let's say if I do this, then you cannot hear my low voice. That's not very good. Now you can tweak. I think you can tweak this way. And usually I cut down from 80. There may be a little bit of mud. Here, mud is you can't hear the clear voice for this. So uh, from number two, and just add band. See, you can add band, and I can do this. I can have a little dip on number five, and I usually I do a notch for this. <laughs> okay, and I turn up my my high. Okay. I mean, my low. If I add this, then it becomes pretty bassy. And I can change this one. You can change my voice a whole lot. Like this. But you can still hear the S sound. So it's around here. Around 5000. And I just don't want to exaggerate my voice. Good. And that's pretty much. You see for number five and you can change you can change frequency like this by doing this okay you can have dramatic change on your voice i can't have the gain okay and you can stretch this one 
so that they can pinpoint to the frequency that makes the sound good. I probably don't use the notch too much. And a good thing is not to exaggerate. <laughs> so this should be within 5 dB, up or down 5 dB. If you go down, you can hear my low voice. Because for male voice, I will add a little bit bass on that. And, and this is the mid. If I cut the mid, it's probably too thin. If I add the mid, it's not clear enough. So tweak around here. Okay. And for number four, usually I just use a band. The band is okay because you can deep. Let's say if I want to listen to my bass, so far bass, because I, for 1000, I can make my voice a little bit clearer. But I can Add one more band here, just to deep down my S, because my S voice doesn't pop out so loudly. So it should be okay. And usually I use a notch here. For bandwidth, I just make it really narrow so that I can find my the S sound. My S sound is prob probably here. And for number four, I just dip down for a little bit so that you can hear my voice quite clearly. That's the basic setup. Of course, you can add one more plugin, which is the limiter, because sometimes your voice may be too loud. So that usually I use a limiter. See if there is a limiter. Oh, it doesn't. Have... Oh, I see. Yeah, I can download a limiter. Right? Let me download a limiter. It's easy limiter it's that easy i just go here Le easy limiter and it is a 64 bit one 64 good what it does is when you shout ah, then it will cut down your shouting voice a little bit so that it can keep your voice like this one in a very consistent way i mean a consistent volume download it let me download this one. Oh, I download twice. Sorry. Let's go here. Delete this one. Control X. Cut and paste. And then I remove the um, Control V. And then I just take it out. But before I take it out, usually I go to my VSC plugins. Since I'm using 64 bits, I go to the 64 bit folder. Right click, add new folder. And I just give it a name. And then, let me come here. There are two DLL files. I extract them all first. Usually, I extract them to my desktop's VSD plugins. And I go to the 64-bit one. Click the VSD plugins. Oh, no, sorry. Not this one. Easy limiter. Okay. And when you go back to the VSD plugins. 64-bit. Easy limiter. You see the one with X64. That's the 64 bit plugin. The one on top is the 32 plugin. So usually I do it like this. I go to the 32 bit folder, right click, folder, easy limiter. Just create another folder to control V, put my 32 bit plugin there. And when you double click, you won't see the new plugin. That's okay because you go to options. Plugin list and then option scan for new or updated VSD plugins again. Just scan it and it's going to search for all possible plugin files. I don't know why it's getting that slow. Anyhow, you see this one? This one fails because I'm in a 64 bit folder. That's why I cannot read the 32 bit plugin, but I can still read 64 bit plugins. Double click anywhere here. You can see easy limiter plugin. Okay, maybe I just change the limiter. And now you can hear the limiter plugin. You can add some effect here, right? Let's say it's real time and I release is okay. Release is release time is so long. Yeah, so long. Okay, and I have to add. Oh, excuse me. Default. Hot limiting. Let's say if I set the hot limit, I'm going to shout and I'll let you hear the difference. So 
This is without any limiter. Ah. Uh, and let's say if I add a limiter for negative 5 dB. You see here, when I shout, it's ah. Uh, maybe you can hear the difference. So this is it's too much, maybe. <laughs> So um, I think it's, you can tweak around and the stereo length, release time, the release time is, uh, you can make it longer so it sounds a little bit, maybe save it, okay, save current presets, close it, and one thing very important is you have to click this one, save it, or Control shift s save as and then I just look for a folder and then usually I save it in a test voice profile Tweak you have tweak your voice. Let's see what I have. Uh, let me do a chorus Let me change my voice here and I can change to another profile So I'm using an other plugin. You can download it from somewhere. It doesn't matter. User profile, default, plenty, yeah, goggle, something like that. Yeah, what's that? Harmonizer. Yeah, you can change your voice. Let's say uh, you want this voice on your shift S and then I change to new 64 bit, the profile, save it. And let's say if I don't like this voice, control, Shift, oh sorry, Control O, and then I click this, and I can go back. Oh sorry, how come? Oh I see, I see. Okay, so let's go back to my test voice and Control O, open to my new voice. So that's everything you need to tweak your voice. And one thing, if you click this B, you can bypass this plugin. Let's say if I want to bypass my gate then oops you hear some noise that's the real environment that i'm recording in i just did show you how i improve my voice by using the pedal bar to and the zoom h6 so hopefully it helps thank you